I don't think he's watching. Okay, so we have the modern defense, and Black is playing a double fianchetto. Looks like he's going for the hippopotamus. That's where you go here and here. Now, one of the things they say about the hippo is that F5, F5 rolls the hippo on its back. So, let's see what happens. Oh, he destroyed the hippo. <laughs> well, Black's got Castle Queenside here. He's afraid of getting pawn stormed. Okay. Hello, Queen. Okay, so nothing's traded. Black is not being ambitious at all. Uh, all of Black's pieces are hiding behind his pawn, so I call this trench warfare. Uh, White's got a couple knights uh, uh, out in front of the out of the trenches, uh, eyeballing some squares, but not much is happening. White just has a space advantage. Okay, and trying to expand it. White wants to attack on the queen side, and you got that nice knight, so. Black shouldn't have let that knight in here. Black should have probably played here, but I don't know. This is coming in. That's a nuisance. Yeah. You know, white has all the choice here. So this, so far, this is a relative. You know, black's played a poor opening, and and white has done all the right things. Now, oh well, that makes interesting chess. I was looking at something else. I was looking at queen c3. Uh, wow. Now this is fun. Wow. Now, Indy is, 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 is a very clever <coughs> player. I've been working with him for a few years now. Uh, he's, uh, you know, got, you know, like I say, he's got some skills. So, is this sound? I don't know. I haven't evaluated it yet. But clearly, in, in, if black doesn't take, uh, white is one a pawn, and black's king looks kind of vulnerable. And white's going to get actually two pawns. Check. And that king is kind of stuck. So, uh, wow, this is strong. I mean, White can play knight e6, and he's threatening uh, queen c7 mate. Uh, Black would have to move his knight to, to and that's not going to work, because then you take on d8 with mate. Oh, my God. So let's see, let's see what he played. Uh, what about knight e6? I mean, knight d5 may work too, but this keeps the d file open. You know, how does black deal with this threat? Um, I mean, I'll miss things. Uh, what am I missing here? You know, black can give up the queen, yeah. I mean, but isn't that kind of hopeless? Uh, white has... Uh, a queen and two pawns for two knights. That's that's decisive. I mean, now nothing wrong with knight d5 that I can see, except that maybe black can uh, get some lateral defense by moving his knight, and he can also just take the knight there too. So there's you know there's possibilities of this. Uh, you know, I can offer another piece here. Maybe Check. maybe that's the move, and then we're gonna steal this. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they can do this. Yeah, this is good. But you know, black is able to take this. But you know, white still has a strong attack. Check. And oh my god, <laughs> yeah, his move is fine. <laughs> this I actually like the way uh, white is doing this better than my way. It's more aesthetically pleasing. Now white to play and win. Uh, <laughs> it's a lovely move by, by uh, White. I'll pause here. Uh, you know, it's just, and there's probably more, more than one way to do this. But I like the move that, uh, that White's going to play here. Uh, I hope he played it. Anybody got any idea? White to play and force a checkmate. Like to play and mate, and there's probably more than one mate here. Um, wow, this is amazing. Yeah, you're right. Queen c6. 
Let's see if he did it. Please do it. Queen C6. Check. Kaboom. Ha! Ah. And black resigned. Okay. <laughs> that was that was clever. Okay, so let's... Uh, the other mate I see is bishop f4. Uh, you know, we're hitting c7. Uh, you know, if you move the knight somewhere, you know, we mate on b8. Check mate. And... Uh, <laughs> I, Let's see. I don't know. Black could, and you know, if you go here, we have checkmate. We have this. Ah, Checky Poo is right. Oh my God! This was a. <laughs> so the only question is, does Black have another defense after Knight D5? You know, we've got to cover the mate on uh, on uh, E C7. The king can't move. Um. You know, knight here just allows this check. Check. So we, you know, that's the only way to defend c7, and, and you know, we, we, we just can't get any air for the king, luft for the king. You know, this just let check. this check, and, you know, the king is stuck. You have to, you know, this is remarkable. So, let's see, it ended at move check. 18. Mate, if mate actually happens, it's on move 19. Check mate. So let's see if, <coughs> excuse me, let's see if, uh, if my knight e6 mates any quicker. I think my, my move mates quicker. Well, no, it doesn't mate because we can give up the queen. But could black give, couldn't black give up the queen in the other line? Uh, whoops, let's see. Check. I can give it up this way, I suppose. So, you know, maybe white doesn't have a forced mate. Um, but uh, clearly, you know, being ahead of queen and two pawns for a... Uh, I'm, no, queen and two pawns for two knights is is is, is decisive. I mean, that was... The nice C7 shocked me. I go, oh, you know, hope that sound. So what did black do wrong here? Well, he lost time here. You know, black black tried to uh, castle queen side to avoid the king side attack. And <laughs> he walked right into one he didn't, ex didn't expect. So what do we learn if we're black here? Well, we learn not to play the hippopotamus. We go, we we go do some. We go we like I like to do. Let me find one. Where are they? Oh, my bookshelf. But I thought I still had one out. Uh, try to get something different down here. Here we go. English, Four Knights. That's one book devoted to c4, e5, and then the next four moves are knight moves. Knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6. One whole book. 180, more than 180 pages. There's even a whole line of Capablancas that I like to play. You know, you, you break these open and and you pull out a chess set and you start playing over uh, you start playing over moves. Okay, that's how you uh, you know you you learn openings. Uh, a special book. Let's see. I, I don't even know how long I've had this. Probably over thirty years because I was playing the English opening in correspondent chess in the eighties. Let's see. What's the price? First published 1982 by Nigel Pova. Uh, we'll see a price on it. Oh, here it is. Uh, 1360 plus tax. So that's what I paid for this uh, some 30, 33 years ago. Uh, and I don't use it much at all. But uh, when I need it, it's on my shelf. Uh, so, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll, you break open a book and you start playing over variations. Uh, you watch all my videos and you see, uh, is that ECO? No, that's uh, Encyclopedia of Chess Openings. It's different than the book I pulled off the shelf. So, you know, this is a wonderful attack by White. Oh, my God. Uh, I liked it better than, than 
what I did in Night Fighter last week. <laughs> I mean, that was fun, but this this was a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video for Night Fighter. I mean, for uh, ND. Let me see. How do I do that? I go over here and I press.